hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make a reversible setting bonnet guys this video is going to be very very detailed and it's also a simple project so i suggest you guys stay back and watch this video to the end if this is the first time of watching any of my videos my name is shruby and this is shruby's tv so guys if you've not subscribed to this channel already please go ahead and subscribe and also don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified once a new video goes up without wasting much of our time i'm going to take you guys to the cotton table shortly after the break So guys, I have two fabrics right here, a silk and a satin fabric. Then I have a pair of scissors, tip measure, my curve ruler, and my telos chalk. This is 23 by 23 inches. So I'm going to fold this into two. And also fold this again this way so I'm going to measure from this angle right here as you can see the side of the fabric is open this side is also open and then the side is open so I'm gonna start my measurement from this angle I'm going to mark 11 inches now it depends on how big you want your bonnet to be so I'm going to place my tape measure at this angle I'm starting from this angle I'll mark 11 inches and I'll do that all round So I'm going to be making my connection with my curve ruler. Then at this point, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the areas that I don't need. So I'm trying to remove the pins that we use to hold our fabric down. So you should have a complete circle after marking and cutting your fabric. So guys, I'm going to place the satin fabric on our silk fabric. So guys, this is what we have. I already held it down with a pin of camera, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'm just going to cut out the parts that we don't need for this project. So once that is done, I'm going to go over to the machine and sew this all round. I'm going to join both the silk and the satin. I'm going to sew and leave about one inch gap. I'm also going to sew on a half inch mark. For your little hole, you can make it 2 inches or 1.5, but I just don't want the hole to be too big. So you just have to be gentle while trying to bring out the right side of the fabric.
this is what we have i'm going to go ahead and give this a nice price and i'll show you guys what next to do so that has been nicely done i'm also going to go over to the machine and sew on a three quarter inch mark our elastic is half inch so i gave um a little gap so that it will nicely pass through the hole for this um part i'm gonna sew this right round i'm not gonna leave any hole so guys i've sewn this right round um this is the satin side of the fabric and this is also the silk side of the fabric Don't forget that we have a hole somewhere and from this little hole I'm going to pass our elastic but before you cut out your elastic you need to um, measure the circumference of your head so I'm going to use this dummy to demonstrate how you can measure the circumference of your head the circumference um, of the head of this doll is 21 but my head circumference is 23 so I'm going to go ahead and cut out um, about 24 inch because I will need to cross this and stitch. I'm going to put a safety pin on the elastic before I pass it through the hole. So I'm gently going to pass this through the hole that we created earlier on. Once that is done, I'll go over to the machine and stitch the elastic together. So guys, this is what we have. Our elastic has been you know, joined. So I'll go ahead and take this all in. Once that is done, I'll close up the hole. You can either sew it down or you can do an invincible stitch. Let me know in the comment section if you want to know how to do an invincible stitch. And I'll show you guys how to make an invincible stitch. So guys, our reversible satin bonnet is ready. This is what it looks like. So this is the silk part of the bonnet. This is also the satin part of the bonnets. As I promised you guys earlier on, this is very, very easy to make. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified once a new video goes up. Until next time, guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Bye.